This is a guide on how to make a state machine based off of the state tables in Quarters Prime version 17. To begin, we will first open a state machine file in the new section. Once this is open, go into the state machine wizard function and select create a new state machine design. This is where you can add your inputs and outputs. In this case, we use x as an input and y as an output. This is where you can add your states manually. We set our states as states 0 through 3. Next you want to set your transitions where you will set the transition to the next state as x and the reset back to state 0 as tilde x. Once it reaches state 3, when the input is x, it will stay as state 3. Be careful to click out of the box before switching tabs. As you will see in a few seconds if you do not, you will have an error while generating the VHDL. So make sure to check your inputs, outputs, transitions, and any tabs you fill while making the state machine. Then you can fill out the actions. When the input is tilde x, while it is any state other than 0, the y output will be high. This is a summary of what we filled out in the actions tab. Once you hit apply, the program will automatically generate a state diagram for you. This is the error that was previously pointed out, so make sure your inputs, outputs, transitions, and all other data entry points are correct before continuing. Then click the generator HDL file and select VHDL and save that file. Next open model sim and go to file, new project and select the folder that the Cordis file you designed exists in. After this, a menu should pop up, and you should select Add Existing File from that menu. Then add the VHD Archive from the Project folder. Once you have that, close the menu and right-click the VHD file and go to Compile Selected or Compile All. After that, go to Simulate and it will load your inputs. Don't forget to select it from the work section select all the inputs and outputs that you want on the waveform except for, for the reg state right click these and click add to wave
Next, you want to set a clock for your clock input by right-clicking it and selecting clock. In this case, we kept the period the same and set the edge to falling. After this, set your inputs for what you want the simulation to be. This can be done by right-clicking the inputs and forcing them high or low with the Force tab. When you're ready to run, select the Run button, which should be next to the period selection, and as you see, you get a waveform. You can then force your inputs down or up again as needed with each run. At the end, this will match what Cordis should output. After this, you will get your final waveform with which state is running at the bottom of the waveform. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.